quarter wave plate quarter wave plate and half wave plate consider a plane polarized light beam and that plane polarized light beam is incident on a doubly refracting uni axial crystal and this crystal is cut such that its faces are cut parallel to the optic axis so the crystal is such that its faces are cut parallel to the optic axis now on entering the crystal the light splits up into ordinary ray ordinary ray and extraordinary ray now this ordinary ray and extraordinary ray travel along same direction but with different velocities they are traveling along same direction with different velocities now on emergence from the crystal that is when it is coming out of the crystal there will be a path difference between this ordinary ray and the extraordinary ray also correspondingly there will be a phase difference so there will be a phase difference and also there will be a path difference between the ordinary ray and extra ordinary ray now consider let us take mu o as the refractive index of the ordinary ray and mu e is the refractive index of the extra ordinary ray and let us take thickness of the crystal as t so the refractive index of the ordinary and extra ordinary rays are respectively mu o and mu e and thickness of the crystal is taken to be t then the path difference introduced will be equal to the path difference will be equal to mu o minus mu e into t for positive crystals for positive and mu e minus mu o into t for negative crystals endora sign change varan karan why there is a why nammal ingane eduthu because we know that for positive crystals mu o is greater than mu e and for negative crystals mu e is greater than mu o okay now if the thickness is such that the path difference this path difference is lambda by 4 then we have quarter wave plate then we call the crystal as quarter wave plate and if the thickness is such that the path difference is lambda by 2 then we call the crystal as half wave plate half wave plate 